Okay, let me try it like one more time. I've been trying it for like eight times now. Hi. I actually don't know what to say. I just I am not going to do this. Okay, so I was actually working for school and you can't see my face. Okay, so I've tried recording this a lot of times and I stopped because I felt really insecure because there's someone in the hallway and they can probably hear me talk making this introduction video. But I've just figured out that I don't give a crap about other people's opinions. Which I'll do it again. Maybe this is like the fourth time that I'm trying to film this. And I'm done with re-recording and stuff. So I'm gonna try again. I've been trying to film this all day now. And this is the eighth recording that I'm trying out. Great. <laughs> I can't stress enough how much I want to be done with this. Okay, so I was doing laundry today. You know, you can see it there. It's still in like the plastic bags because I haven't hung it up. I think I need to like hang it up, but I have no space in my room. Anyway, I was doing laundry and I was thinking, you know what? I'm just gonna continue this YouTube channel and make a little introduction video. So yeah. Hi, my name is Elena, I'm 19 years old, and this is me. No, that was me like 10 years ago. Well, this is me now. Okay, so where do I begin? I begin, I'm not gonna tell you my whole life story. I'm just gonna tell you about why I started it and what I want to do. Last year I took a gap year and I wanted, I wanted like to go to film school. That was like my, like the thing that I wanted most. So I applied for multiple film schools all over Europe. I, uh, I applied for Berlin and I applied for London and for Brussels and I got into two of them. And I chose for Brussels, mainly because London and Berlin were 20,000 euros per year and London was like 1,500 euros per year, so yeah, you know, I chose like the cheap way out. I got into film school, which was great, and then summer holidays started and someone said to me like, Elena, you got into film school, which is great, I'm happy for you, but you've never held a camera before. And that person was right. I mean, it's not that I never held a camera. I filmed some little videos when I was like eight years old or something. I think I still have them like somewhere on my computer. I can I can find them and maybe put them in the video. Here is my brother. Um, set. What is this? Still set. They are not. And they make it so Okay, that was speak about So I uh, after like, the person said to me like you've never held a camera. I was like, yeah, that's probably right. So maybe I should make some videos before going to film school so I at least you know touched a camera before so that's what I did I went on a holiday with my family and my boyfriend and I made some little fun vacation videos and travel in France and hiking and stuff like that I wanted my friends and family to see it so the easy way was like to put it on YouTube it's like easy accessible for everyone and I would send the links to like a few of my family members and then it was September and I moved to Brussels to start my studies. I filmed the move and like a few videos. I loved making the videos over the summer holiday and I really wanted to continue them, but you know, I was kind of too insecure to not care about other people's opinions. Like story of my life, story of like a lot of people's lives, caring about everyone, what they think of you and their perspective on you. And in the end, it like doesn't matter because you live your life for you. And as I was doing laundry, I thought, you know, 
why should I care about other people's opinions? Why can't I make YouTube videos? I mean, yeah, I'm going to film school and I have a little YouTube channel that no one really watches, but I still love making these videos. So why shouldn't I do it? And if they're gonna talk, let them talk. If they don't watch the videos, they don't like it, then don't watch the videos. Like. I'm making it mostly for me and my friends and family and the persons and the people that are interested in what I'm doing in my way of storytelling and yeah I've just decided you know what I'm not gonna be silly anymore and fuss about it I'm just gonna start recording videos again so what I want to do on this channel is something that I don't that know yet because I, I love traveling and I want to do some traveling videos but right now I'm studying in Brussels and, you know, I have to be here for a few months a year or like every month a year. I think I'm just gonna be more documenting what my life is about, what my thoughts are and yeah, my struggles with like the things I... Oh, my lens huh, attacking me, <laughs> like the struggles that I have in my life and I want to try to keep it as real as... Whoa as real as possible that's gonna be hard well it's not gonna be hard but like making the videos is not gonna be hard but putting them online for people to see is gonna be hard so when this video comes out this introduction video it's gonna be 20 seconds of like courage that i had to gain to actually post it i think i'll be fine i want to focus on my way of storytelling my storytelling is not good not on this channel because making films writing films is completely different than youtube video it's like two different just two completely different things and i was also kind of scared that people were gonna be like oh but their youtube videos are not as good in storytelling so her films are not gonna be so good either like it may be true it may not be true i actually don't know because i haven't tried it out so i think by doing this i'm gonna improve also my way of storytelling a little bit more and stuff like that but it's gonna take time and if people will stick around for that to see my storytelling evolve then you're welcome and if you want to jump in later you do you if you feel like no i'm never gonna be like interested in what you have to say then be my guest i don't mind i i'm gonna head out now because this little introduction video it took me a whole day to make i could not figure out what i wanted to say and i put on i was like okay yes i'm gonna say this and the moment i turned on the camera i was like i completely blacked out and i couldn't really like speak properly anymore okay so before i like sign off like a hundred percent i wanted to be real with you guys so the last two days i've been feeling like shit to be honest I like my energy is low and all these cuts that you've been seeing is me yawning because <laughs> I can't keep my eyes open today and my body hurts and I just my body needs to sleep all day and I haven't done school things and tomorrow I have a really important presentation but it's just like my mind and my body are not agreeing with my schedule at the moment so I think I'm gonna hang up my laundry clean up my room a bit just so it doesn't look like a giant mess and then I'm going to bed do the very 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 last bits for my presentation tomorrow and just watch Netflix the rest of the day because I can't anymore oh and by the way I am liking this corner with me and the plants you know it's like it's kind of me so yeah signing off now bye bye I just wanted to show you. So 